FDA has given final approval. Now the clock is ticking to distribute doses all over the country. So in Oregon, the first doses will arrive over the weekend. Federal guidelines state the first doses should go to hospitals, then to long-term care facilities later next week. In Washington state, you should see a similar schedule with Clark County's first doses heading to Peace Health. But even with the federal guidelines, we found out it's ultimately up to the governor of each state to decide which groups of people will get the first doses of the vaccine. And we do know those health care workers treating COVID patients are at the front of the line. Today, our Lisa Balick joins us live from South Portland with what she is hearing from hospitals. Lisa. Yeah, several hospital groups I spoke with today here in our area say they expect to start seeing doses of the vaccine arriving as soon as this weekend. Now they say it will take a few days though before they start giving out the vaccine. Again, the frontline workers, the hospital workers in the front of the line, especially those who are working with COVID patients. Now the plan is to get thousands of doses in place at several hospital locations that have a special freezers needed for storage. Now, in addition to the initial allotment of 35,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine headed to Oregon, I found out that the Portland VA will also be receiving close to a thousand doses for its workers at the hospital and at its clinics who have direct contact with COVID patients. But it will still be a wait for most of the 95,000 veterans they serve. Once we uh, have enough supply to go beyond the original uh, groups that the CDC is requesting that we start with, it won't look too much unlike our flu campaign where we absolutely would be reaching out to veterans through their primary care providers. Now the Portland VA also plans to give some of the first doses to in-hospital patients and those who live in group homes. Now when I contacted some of the hospital organizations today, I asked them what happens if a care worker says nope, no thanks, I don't want the vaccine. I'll have that answer coming up today at 5. Live in South Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin6 News.